Hello again, everyone. All Dragon here, and uh, with the completion of Gateway to the Savage Frontier, let's start a new uh, Gold Box game. Let's go with EGA Graphics, Ad Lib Sound, Mouse, Default Save, Default Save. Yay, music! It's Fantasy Roleplaying Epic, Part 2, Death Knights of Crin. It's pretty good music, too. It's one of the things I've forgotten about the game. I'm gonna let the music play, because it's pretty cool. Okay. Let's view the demo. Even after defeating Mirtani and putting an end to the draconian threat, evil still lurks in Kryn. The daring group of adventurers now face a far greater danger. The threat of the... Did we freeze? No. That was weird. The dreaded Lord Soth and his growing undead army plotting to destroy all that is... Good. In... Kryn, I guess? I don't know. Missed that part. Find rare and magical treasures! Lord Soth has the power to turn even the closest of your friends into deadly opponents. Evil is everywhere and strikes with little warning. The Dread Wolf lurks around every corner. Wasn't very effective. So then, as usual, goes into uh, um, a sample fight with some pretty bad, uh, uh, pretty small party. There's the uh, Dread Wolf. Evil Warlord goes down. Yeah, you probably shouldn't have tried casting. Where are you going? That guy is so gonna die. Huh? I'm surprised he's not dead yet. Oh, only 12 hit points left. That was actually pretty uh, effective. Usually they're not that effective in, the, in uh, these demos. Oh, there he goes. Oh, and he's killed, too. <laughs> it's really interesting to watch some of these demos, because you'll see them, uh, um... They all, it's always the same characters, always facing the same enemies. Sometimes they succeed, sometimes they fail really horribly. Protect the beauty and magic that still exists in Kryn. The Death Knights await, so go forward against this new threat and defeat the Death Knights of Kryn. And back to the... And intro music again. 
Okay, let's go ahead and play. Load saved game from Champions. J. And I think we're. F I think I've modified the hit points already. Let me. Uh, let's see. Level seven, Knight of the Rose. Double check his hit points. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think that's right. All right. Um, I'm not going to go through uh, character creation in uh, for this one. Um, you can take a look at uh, um, uh, Champions of Kryn for that. Uh, it's basically the same with one exception. They added paladins. And it's really annoying because I would add a paladin to my party if I didn't already have a full party or if I was creating a new one for this game because... While they're pretty similar to uh, um, the uh, Salamnic Knights, uh, they have some additional abilities like uh, um, protection from evil and laying on hands and stuff like that, which can be very, very useful. Um, I've got one... Well, I've got two humans right now. Um, I've got a, a single-class human mage. It's possible I might uh, dual-class her. Um, I don't know. Uh... I'll have to think about it, um, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, really shouldn't make much difference overall, though. So let's go ahead and uh, let's just quickly look at our characters again. Uh, so all Knight of the Rose, level seven. Um, this is what he was equipped with at the end of the last game. And Crow, he's a uh, uh, Qualanesti Elf, uh, Cleric of Kiri Joloth Cleric, level 7-7. Seven, seven. And this is what he's got. And Islandwe is a Syrian Cleric Fighter Red Mage, Qualanesti Elf again. And this is what she has, tons of uh, red mage scrolls. Doesn't look like any items got re I mean, there were some items that got removed at the end of uh, Champions of Kryn, but I don't think any items didn't con come through to this game. So that's a, that's a nice bonus there. Uh, Ellie is a white mage human. She's the one who, uh, uh, if I were going to dual class, it would be her. Uh, unfortunately, you know, being the fact that uh, she's a mage... Uh, her strength is only 18, uh, rather than 1800. So, and this is what she's got. Pretty good stuff. Still only a uh, non-magical quarter staff though. Uh, Elmandretta is a Mishako cleric white mage, seven seven. Call an SD elf again, and this is what she's got. So let's go take a look at Moonshadow. Uh, Majir Cleric Thief, uh, level 7-9 uh, Kender. And she's got uh, um, these items here. Okay. Let's go ahead and uh, begin adventuring, and uh, we have to... Oh, I had this one already. I did some uh, test recording just to make sure that everything would... Uh, that I had the volumes okay and everything like that, so... Oh, I bet it was just street. That's what it was, wasn't it? Stupid game. Uh, word number eight, journal entry 36. Oddly enough, it says journal page 42, but the journal I have has it on page 31. Pretty big difference. Uh, let's see. Suspicious. Okay, a year has passed since Mirtani was defeated in the ruins of Kernan. The survivors of that campaign have been called together to celebrate and to remember fallen comrades. You meet outside of the Gargath outpost. So uh, here we are right here. The uh, This little square here indicates where we are. Uh, there's a uh, kind of a keepish thing right there. It's kind of purplish, similar icon to here. 
Uh, so you can see that there's a couple other places that we can go, you know, here, here, these two places, uh, this place, that place, that one, that one, and that one. And of course there's a number of uh, hidden places on the map. Uh, like for example, I believe in this corner is the equivalent of Dave's Challenge from uh, uh, Pool of, uh, Pools of Darkness. I've never actually done that in this game, um, and I actually still have not done Dave's Challenge for uh, Pools of Darkness. Um, I'll probably do a uh, recording of that at some point, maybe after I do a whole bunch of other games. So uh, anyway, um, lovely EGA graphics here. Uh, I really wish someone would convert this to VGA. Then again, they may very well have, and I haven't seen it. Who knows? Uh, oh, and uh, incidentally, there are some uh, places up here that you can kind of see. Okay. During the year, the knights have used the equipment you donated. Donated? Donated? I didn't donate anything. They stole it from me. Bastards. You donated to restore the peace. The trip to the Gargath outpost was uneventful. Oh, and also, if you uh, remember the map from uh, um, Champions of Corinne, basically that takes place down here and then, you know, off the side of the map. This place kind of thing. So, in a whole new area here. You arrive the night before the celebration. Do you wish to rest? Absolutely. Uh, and they, you, we've got the moons up here, and they start all full, so uh, we can uh, make sure that we got everything. All right. And since I loaded the saved game rather than characters, everything is... Uh, um, uh, they, they kept all their spells. So let's see, what do I have? Um, I actually need to get some... Uh, Snake Charms, that's second level spell. What can I get rid of? Um, oops. Oh well. Yes, yes, okay. I'll get that protection from evil back, actually. And then uh, I'll get some Snake Charms. Uh, the user interface is basically the same, so there's not much to uh, really go over here. Uh, Elmandretta, two bonus spells because uh, the full moon. Let's uh, see. I could get fourth level, but I'm not going to. Actually, let's uh, see what she currently has. Um, I've got one fireball, one lightning bolt, uh, one ice storm. So let's get two more fireballs. Oops. That was bad habit. Keep. All right. Yeah, Ellie is our straight white mage. So again, um, two bonus spells. Let's go. Actually, let's see. Two fireballs and a lightning bolt. So let's go with uh, two more fireballs. I can't wait till I get delayed blast fireball. I would be so happy. So happy indeed. All right, Island Wee, uh, one bonus spell. Probably because she already has one bonus spell memorized. Um, let's see. She has a haste and a fireball. Uh, so that's a probably a good thing to get. It's good with a go with a fireball. Uh, crow is good, and all is good. Okay, let's go ahead and rest for seven and a half hours. And uh, speed is a bit fast, so let's go back to the default, and we'll see how that goes. Uh, let's check the icons, make sure that they're all okay. Yep. Yep. This is just in case they changed them a bit. Yeah, those are all good. Okay. Let's 
check the level. Level. Okay, we'll make sure that it's on veteran. And um, order is good. So I think we're uh, good to go. All right, let's go ahead and save it. No, I'm not going to quit the DOS. Okay. Let's get the game going. The beautiful Lady Maya stands and gives a eulogy for Sir Carl. His bravery helped the heroes gathered here to overcome their the massive forces of evil. If he were alive today, I am sure that he would be very proud. A fat knight whispers to you. She is amazingly beautiful for a silver dragon. Don't you know that Sir Carl was in love with her? She's now one of the deadliest hunters of evil in the lands. Yeah, um, yeah, we, we knew we knew her uh, before she was uh, one of the deadliest hunters of evil in the lands. Thank you for telling me, though. The festival continues into the early evening. While thunderheads gather in the west, suddenly small specks detach themselves from the black clouds. They grow rapidly larger until... A huge death dragon flanked by nightmares sweeps toward the suddenly silent celebration. You note su something familiar about the decaying leader atop the dragon. Ooh, something familiar. This isn't good. Maya screams in despair as she recognizes the gruesome remains of her ex-lover. Sir Carl brandishes his sword as his death dragon swoops toward the scattering crowd. As he comes close, the corpse of Sir Carl shouts, You pathetic worms sicken me. In life I believed the pap about honor and virtue succeeding, but death has revealed the truth. Catch these trophies from the first knights I have met. He tosses down a pile of armor and weapons. As you look up again, he has grabbed the dragon lance on display, <clears throat> on display and is heading away. See, again, word to the wise, don't put the dragon lance on display, put it in my hands. Maybe they'll learn that next time. Maya streaks after him. Before you can follow, the nightmares have deposited their riders before you. Other knights rush to your aid. The battle is joined. Using leadership ability, all lead Salamic Knight. Yay! <coughs> Sorry, the uh, Sir Carl voice doesn't do anything good for my throat. Uh, might have to think about another voice for him, you know? Alright, let's see what we got. Skill Warriors with 60 hit points. Holy crap. Nightmares with 33. Um, so there's four and four. Okay. Um. Yeah, uh, no turn options. So, uh, um, as I thought, you can't actually turn skeletal knights. Or skeletal warriors, I'm sorry. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, set up some uh, defensive lines. Oh, let's actually see what they're equipped with. Uh, Longsword, shield, Islamic plate. Um, and they're chaotic evil! <laughs> what the heck? Look at that! Chaotic evil, knight. Experience 3, level 12. What the heck is up with that? That's crazy. Did they just leave this? Uh, I can't even understand how that would get set. I mean, it's not. I don't believe that's uh, um, zero. Um, you know, if you edit the... Uh, 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 the, the save file for the for the uh, uh, for a character, you know, the alignment is set with a, a single byte. So, but I don't think zero is chaotic evil. I think zero is lawful good, which I would expect to be the default. That makes no sense. Maybe it's the default because they didn't want to have to set chaotic evil on all of the monsters or something like that. I don't know. That's hilarious, though. Oh, jerk. That's... Alright, let's... Uh, she can't cast, so let's just beat it down. Oops. Oh, 
Oh, old, why did you miss? <sighs> they have a lot of attack, a lot of attacks. Ah, blinded by smoke. Curses. And blinded by smoke. At least the, uh, uh, these guys have a lot of hit points. Alright, let's try this. I need to get someone down there to help. Nope. Oh, good. Good. I like that. Good. Nice. Oh, and they're immune. That's just wrong. That is really not right. Let's see, what does she have that she could cast? If anything, nothing much. Okay. That's not fun. And miss with a backstab. That is also not fun. Which, incidentally, they should not be able to do, but oh well, I'm not complaining. Um, Alright, what can we cast? Let's try Magic Missile. I'm not sure if that'll work on these guys. Nope. Let's just slowly beat these things down. Uh, let's move this guy up here. Go after that. Uh... No, I can't go there. Okay. Kill the nightmare, thank you. Should probably check to see if anyone has any. Uh... Uh, any maces in there. Ooh, this guy only has four hit points left. That's. That's not good. Alright, do I have anything that will hurt them? Ice storm, maybe. All right, that's gonna hurt someone, but that's okay. She'll survive. No, wow, that was crappy. Oh, there, there he goes. All right. Wow, two points of damage. Come on, backstab. Forty. All right. There we go. Yes, backstabbing a skeleton. Works every time. Oh, you attacked the wrong person. Alright, you have nothing that you can do, do you? Nothing at all. Alright, what do you have? Um, magic missiles don't work. I don't think anything is going to work on them, so... Just have you guard. Alright, four points of damage, and I miss with a backstab. Ooh. There we go. There we go. Killed that one. so that we can try to uh, do another backstab.
four points of damage, and 36. Yay! There we go. Now we're talking. Oh, shucks. There we go. Continue battle? No. No treasure. I got a lot of experience, so that's always nice. With the enemy defeated, the knights gathered gather what they can and retire to the outpost to regroup. Evil forces close in and lay siege. The outpost gates will soon be sealed against the invaders. You walk up to the main gate. You carry the hurt to the temple. Many are in agony. Help with healing? Yes. Will Alt cast Cure Light Wounds? Yes, you cast the spell. A young woman is healed. Will Elmendreta cast Cure Disease? Yes, you cast the spell. A sick child is healed. The outpost commander walks up. We thank you. As he died, a knight willed this to you. 66 experience points, and what do I get? A ring. Okay. Congratulations, party gains experience. After you rest, see me in my chamber. It's upstairs in the keep to the northeast. Okay. That's area of view. Wow, that's bright. Um, yeah, so uh, purple and green, lovely. Um, okay, anyway, this is uh, uh, Gargoth Outpost, which we never actually got to see in um, uh, a map version in uh, Champions of Kryn, although I kind of expected it to look a little bit different. I kind of expected it to look like the other keep that, I mean, the other outposts that we went into. Anyway. Uh, so let's see, there's a couple things that we can do to start off with, um, let's, uh, go find the inn, which I believe is out here, no, that's a weapon store, oh, that's okay, I don't think we need to buy anything, let's pool, view items, Yes, it's Ring of Protection plus one. That doesn't... Actually, you know what? Actually, that uh, it does work. Huh, that's right, because uh, Salomnic Plate is uh, non-magical. Cool. Forgot about that part. All right. Godspeed you back. Uh, let's see. What are we doing here? The bank. Need money services? No, not really. I need to find the inn. Where is the inn? I believe the inn is up here. The innkeeper greets you, for you are best room to the left. A nice room. Yes. Alright, everyone is healed. Let's go ahead and uh, rest. Rest. Okay. And let's go find some training. Where do we have training? Where is the training hall? Let's take a look at the map. Okay. Oh, I don't think it's going to be open because it's night. Nope. That's not it. It is over here. No one is here. Yes, figured. Well, that's a little annoying. Town well, thirsty. Yes, all drink their fill. Yay! All right. Well, um, the town is sealed. The town is sealed. The bar is crowded. Have a drink. Yes, you drink. Uh, now what do you do? Talk. Alright, fine, leave. Got to speed you back. Alright, well, um, I don't really wanna really wanna train first. Alright, let's um do it the cheap way. There we go. Training warriors, join them? Yes indeed. Okay, Island we can train up to a level 7 mage. Fantastic. Uh, let's get Ice Storm. Yes, indeed. 
Yes, everyone says that. No. Back to the inn. Do 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 do. All right. Uh, magic memorize. Um. Ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum, ba -dum. Because I used my bonus spell? Is that why? I don't think she used a spell. Hmm. Okay, Ice Storm. And we'll go with uh, Lightning Bolt. There we go. All right, now we can uh, go talk. Let's go talk to the uh, um, keep commander and find out what he wants. Spiral stairs go up. Yes, you climb the stair. I am post commander Bertel. I need your help. Evil forces besiege us. We need warriors to defend the town. Will you help? Yes. Pick a duty. Uh, let's go to the cemetery. Go to the temple and help lay our fallen to rest. Remember, the town is sealed. Dismissed. So we've got a few things that we need to do to, before we can uh, uh, actually leave this place. Uh, so let's take care of some of these. Stand and be identified. Pass, friend. Yeah. Ugh, hate that. The town priest is tired. I dread this task above all. You lay the bodies of the dead on carts. As you walk to the tombs, the priest talks. I will give our dead my highest benisons, but uh, uh, something around like that. I sanctified Sir Carl, yet his body vanished from a tomb here. I blame Lord Soth, once a great knight, he now uses that power for ill. Solemn you go, solemnly you go to work. Each broken body is blessed. At last it is done. Others wheel the carts away, leaving you alone with your thoughts. You enter a quiet alcove. This is recorded as journal entry number 40. Sir Carl's grave. The graveyard is silent, except for the wi for whispers of wind. All seems in order. You find Sir Carl's grave, heaped in flowers and marked by the gleaming marble obelisk that Maya had prepared. Yet something is amiss. The obelisk leans slightly. As you put out a hand to correct it, it suddenly topples. Crash! Full on the grave, it falls, breaking through sod and casket to reveal black tunnels that reek of putrefaction and disease. An evil chuckle stops you cold. You turn to see a beast perched on a tombstone. A dread wolf! His eyes ooze wickedness. Sir Carl warned us of you. I see he exaggerates. Just in case, wherever you go, I will stop your meddling. What do you do? Let's attack him. The dread wolf vanishes, and... Legions of carrion snakes swarm up over you. And... What do you do? Let's cast... Will Elmandretta cast Charm Snakes? Yes, indeed. You cast the spell. Elmandretta defeats the snakes. Yay! The town priest appears with many knights. Paladine, protect us! They block the holes with stones and spells. Go and rest. Yep, that's why I memorized it. It's actually a pretty good spell, so maybe I'll keep... I should keep some of them. Fix. Rest. Okay, um, I think that's enough for uh, this episode. Um, let's go ahead and save it. Before I actually quit, I want to, uh, there's just a couple things that I want to comment on. Uh, to be perfectly honest, um, this is not my favorite game. Uh, that has more to do with the story of it. Um, there's a lot in this game that just does not feel crinish to me. Um, 
and I'll, I'll mention some of those as we get to them, but uh, like the Dreadwolf, for example, is one of them. I, I've never heard of a... I mean, there's a there are Dreadwolves um, in the Monstrous Compendiums, but they're basically just more powerful, more intelligent wolves, uh, from what I recall. They're, they're not nothing special. They're certainly not as powerful as the Dreadwolf in this game is. Uh, so I'm not sure where they're getting that from. Um, and there's a number, and, and like I said, there's a number of other things in this game that that just bug me. Um, other than that, it's a fairly well put together game, um, but it also feels rushed. I I don't know, just some some of my complaints. Um, Nowhere near as bad as Pools of Darkness, I'll say that. Uh, nothing, none of the Gold Box games are as bad as Pools of Darkness. Um, but uh, most of the other games I enjoy a bit more. But, uh, I'll, I mean, I, I still enjoy it, so I'm not going to let... Uh, you're, you're not going to really hear me complaining too much about the game itself, other than things like uh, when we get to points that don't feel cringe to me, I'll point them out. But, uh, um, yeah. Uh, like I said, still fun game, so and I'll, I'll enjoy playing it, and I hope you all enjoy watching it. So we'll see you then in the next episode as we uh, continue to um, clear out uh, the um, monsters that are besieging this town, or the uh, outpost. See you in the next episode.